everybody, it's Katie. Welcome back to my Polymer Clay studio. I am so glad that each of you are here today. Today we're going to talk about some glue. And I know you're thinking, well, don't you have to have special glue for polymer? Well, yes, you do, but there are some that you may already have in your home that you don't have to go out and purchase. So I want to introduce just a few of those to you. The first is one of my favorites, Elmer's School Glue. Now, why is this such a good glue for polymer. This is a great glue for polymer if you're covering paper mache or some other kind of object that is going to be completely covered in clay. This is going to help the clay to adhere without going to the expense of using liquid clay. So anytime I cover a paper mache box or if I cover a kitty cat food container, this is what I'm actually using on top 90% of the time. So this is a great thing to have you probably already have it in your home. You do need to make sure that it is the washable kind though. I find that it uh, works the best of all of them. So go ahead and grab your Elmer's glue and use it when you cover objects for your studio. The second glue is Weld Bond. I actually was turned on to by Lori Mica, and this is actually a fantastic glue. It has um, a little bit more joinability. It's um, just about as thin as the Elmer's School glue, so you won't see quite that difference in um, consistency. But I really like this to cover metal. When I'm covering something with metal, I find that this really works the best. If you're doing Altoid tins or if you're doing metal frames that you need to cover, I really do like this. Um, it does seem to have a quicker dry time than the Elmer's glue. So if you're covering something with metal with the weld bond, just cover a little bit of the surface that you're covering, especially if you're doing something large like a frame, then put your clay pieces on, add a little bit more weld bond, then your clay pieces, and then bake it accordingly. Um, but I, I really do like this. Um, I'm still experimenting with all the different kinds of applications. But remember that both of these glues, in both cases, this is not something that you're going to use after you are done with your clay, but something before your clay is baked. So if you have this, or if your husband has this, just you know, borrow it for a little bit. And the last one is better for when things are finished, and that is Gorilla Glue. Now, I have had mixed results with this, I will be honest. It is really good for some clays. It works fantastically for souffle. Um, it doesn't work quite as well for Primo. Make sure you follow the directions if you're going to use this. For example, if you're making a brooch, and you make your brooch and then you put glue a little bit of this on the back and then your pin back it will hold however both pieces both the metal pin back and the polymer piece need to be wet and then just a tiny 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 little bit of this applied and the way that I use this is I put a little drop of this on a q-tip and then apply it if you actually squeeze it direct from the bottle this is a foaming glue which by the way works great to fix all kinds of stuff. This works fantastically for certain clays. Uh, be sure that you test it. If you're making brooches and jewelry and things, please know the best and still the way I recommend to attach metal components together is to bake them on. Okay, so if you're making a brooch, let's say a heart-shaped brooch, you'd bake the front then you'd take it out of the oven once it was cool, add your pin back, cover it with clay, cut out the pin portion, texture your clay, uh, and rebake. That is going to be the truest way that any metal is secure on the back of your items. Um, and the same thing is true with head pins or eye pins. So um, keep that in mind when using these. Remember that glue is, that though you can use it with polymer, uh, the best connections are still and always will be polymer to polymer. So I hope that this gave you a little bit of insight of three glues that you might have around your house that you can already use. Uh, remember that these two uh, will go on with raw polymer to uh, metal, paper mache, 
um, or other objects and this will go on baked polymer to attach uh, metal components. So I hope that that helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the down bar below. I'll leave links to uh, each of these items that you can purchase on Amazon if you are international um, or you can get them at any big box store and often even um, at places like Target and Walmart. Uh, so be sure to check those out and I thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys again soon. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.